Today we're going to talk about cabbage. I have a pretty small head of cabbage here. It's the smallest I could find at the store. They come pretty big. And the reason I get the smallest is because we're just not going to go through a big one. There's only two of us. We can only eat cabbage so often. First thing I do is pull the two outermost leaves off. They're usually a little wilty, a little brown, a little less fresh and crisp than the rest. And uh, also it means I don't have to wash it. Hey. Next thing I'm going to do is just cut off a chunk. Oh, and what I'm going to work around is this stalk. So if you can imagine that this stalk goes all the way through to the other side, just like an onion or an apple core, you're cutting around that. Anything super close to that is going to be crunchy and hard and take a very long time to cook. Cabbage in general takes a very long time to cook. That's something to keep in mind. I love, I love including it in my grilled vegetables. And when I do, I have to make sure I give them uh, probably about 20 minutes, hmm, maybe 10 minutes extra for cabbage, 20 minutes extra if I put any parsnips in. Parsnips are a very, very tough thing to cook, but so worth it. Uh, tough as in toughness of the vegetable to crunch into, it takes a while. It's very easy to cook. Happy to clarify that. Parsnips are some of my favorites. So here I've made my first cut. Everything in here is still delicious and lovely. And all of this is ready to go. I can chop this up and throw it in my pan and it's great. And let me come a little closer. Another piece where everything on it is good to go. And I'll take some of the top part off of the stock. Once you get down in here, where it's nice and crunchy, you could maybe toss it in a salad or a taco if you wanted. Let's see. Mm. It's kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. The stuff toward the stock could definitely be used for a taco. Mm -hmm. I like instead of lettuce. It has a really nice crunch to it. All right. However, a taco is not what we're making today. So today, I'm going to cut them up to about this size. About the size of the end of my thumb. And, <laughs> sorry, the reason for that is I'm going to make some fried rice here in a minute. Mm. That's not as sweet. Now I'm going to chop this one up. I cut them different lengths, different sizes, based on what recipe I'm doing. A uh, very standard cut is nice and long across, across the entire length of it. And then just a couple of cuts to make a small square rectangle. It actually probably seems a little large. Oh, a little bigger than my thumb there. Wraps around a little. Uh, it seems quite large but they cook down a little. So it's going to end up being A-OK, -okay. and then I just pick up most of the whole thing and crumble it as I drop it into whatever I'm cooking. Uh, 
one more. Made that one a little narrower. Not for any particular reason. Just because I can. That's how you cut up cabbage.